Hey everybody, this is Jerry O. This is my Terrier Sandhawk. Been working on this rocket for about a year. You can find a build thread on it if you're interested on Rocketry Forum. As you can see, it has four motors there on the booster. Those are 54 millimeters, baby L's, staging to uh, 4500 L. And had some help here with the good folks of Tripoli e Central Virginia, number 25 also called Battle Park, this field. They've been around a long time. A long time trip, the guys would know. I'm going to arm the booster and then uh, put the igniters on, and then we're uh, good to go. Well, I'm good. All right. I'm going to throw a walk One of those switches had a little difficulty with, and uh, you'll see later a bad consequence. Uh, here's the contour pad cam. I'm going to just let this roll just for a second so you can hear. The, the delayed second stage ignition. A bit of a waddle. There she goes. You can really see it accelerate. You can see it coming down there. That was the backup on a two-second delay. Apparently that rotary switch for the primary never did arm. Hooray for backups! more waggling. You gotta, you gotta tighten that up. So it gets going a little quicker and I can't see the booster in that shot. Coming over the top. And that was an insufficient amount of black powder to break that apart and I think because it didn't have enough energy. You see the drogue here is tangled. And uh, because of that, it's coming down nose first. That booster should be on the bottom. All right, addition now. All right, all right. Oh, man. Sadly, that was the only ground video I got. My buddy on my camera forgot to hit the record button. So, if anybody has video, I'd love to see it. Now the drogue's out and fully deployed, but the booster's still hanging above it, and that's because the, uh, the motor's a little light on this one relative to the first flight, so it really needs a bigger drogue for this smaller L motor in the sustainer. That was main deployment and how it did not hit these trees I, I have no idea this was a nasty bit of terrain in here uh, it looks dry but it's not it's a swamp with water everywhere of course the electronics hit the water and we got pretty wet getting it out but miraculously it missed the trees that almost never happens there you have it I want to say thanks to the Culpepper guys Ben Mike Showalter, Ivan, my friends Bill, Marty, Tim, Arlen, Gerald, and Al. Thanks, guys. Couldn't have done it without you.